Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Braun Breaker. Beat them at their best. So Braun is the free card this month. He is a modern era powerhouse. <clears throat> he um, is an aggressive. He has the NXT link, which is handy for NXT. These modern era gems do 5% more damage. And he has the one gear, uh, beat them at their best gear. He is a trainer at 9k. Column break gems are going to do 2,200 more damage. Um, so let's uh, take a look. See here, uh, the strap I'm going to be using double fury, um, level 12 on the gem damage and level 15 on the move damage. So 133% red move damage on that metal. Uh, aftershock plate, which might seem kind of weird here at the start, useful in the last build. I will show you guys there. Um, and it's available on the skill plate part picker. So uh, let's get in here and take a look at the first move set. This one is by far his worst. That's why we're running it first. Uh, two 9 MP purples and then the red finisher. Um, so we got the turnbuckle head slams, which animation looks awesome, by the way. 9 MP purple, deal 79k damage, make eight random gems into blast gems. Alabama slam, 9 MP purple. Deal 73k damage and choose a 2x5 area to make into Blast Gems. And then we got the double underhook slam. Uh, deal 146k damage and make 12 Blast Gems into Purple Gems and pin the opponent uh, 11 MP red. Uh, Entourage, uh, I finally got my Vince up to 15k. So 2 Purple MP there, 2 Purple MP from Woods. Um, this would still start 1 MP short in Feud, so worth noting. Uh, Lacey for purple gem damage, Santa Hogan since we're hitting blast gems for uh, 2200 more damage. You could also potentially use Sammy for 50% uh, damage to your blast gems <clears throat> and things like that. Uh, Braun for the month has plus 2 MP and he has plus 50% gem damage. So those buffs are active. I do not have tour perks however. Uh, so we're going to go against Orton here on the road and see how this one goes. Um, which this one is rough. If you don't have um, some red on the board, it's a little bit of a long day. We do, and we have a row break, which is even better. Um, so this will help a little bit. Um, so the downside about putting this move out and setting it off to start is the red move turns Blast Gems into purple. So we definitely aren't going to get all of the purple gems um, on the board. And even if we did, there wouldn't be nine. So that's why you see uh, the rocks cooking skill plate as an option. Uh, but really, you're not going to run this moveset uh, in the current state. I don't see a reason to run this moveset. We do blow up the board uh, quite nicely. Uh, some cascade, but no, not very much for purples. Uh, 753k damage, so not that amazing. Um, Orton almost uh, sold it for us. And um, now we're going to hit the finisher, which isn't going to be big at all, because there's no blast gems to blow up. So, And we're only changing two purple. So here's the problem with this build set. It just doesn't blow. Right, we got nothing that makes uh, reds going on. Um, this move really should be make some randoms into red or something. Um, yeah, um, we're basically sitting ducks here because this isn't going to keep anyone down 320k pin. Um, so we're going to have to try and get a purple match. The alternative is I hold those blast gems and try and get red going. Um, but that could take forever. And of course, I don't have two of perks, so there is our <clears throat> purple match, but we're still two away. So right here, you see the problem with this moveset. It just doesn't flow. It's not designed well, in my opinion. Um, you're never going to use these two purple moves. Like, probably ever. Like I said, worst first. We 
Gordon's doing Orton things. Chrome looks awesome, at least, on the plus side. At least they got a really good model um, for him when uh, he hits the main roster. Hopefully we get a good Braun that um, looks good, too. Okay, so now we can choose. We're going to slop it right down in the middle. And, of course, you see all these loot box gems on the board, which is not going to do us much of a favor. However, we're going to turn everything purple, so that should help. But... If you manage to get everything loaded and you're still alive, that animation is sweet. I can just say that again. I love that animation. This is about what you can expect to hit for. With a 50% buff. We did clear a million, and hopefully that will keep him down. On the plus side... Um, once it's loaded, it does refill the purples, but again, not the red. So you guys really see the problem with this move set. It's just not, it doesn't flow well. Um, it's, these moves aren't really, it's like there's a move missing to make this work. The other, the one purple just shouldn't be there. Unless I completely miss something, which I guess is possible. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time, but you'll see the rest of the moves and nothing else makes purple. The only stuff that makes red is black so and there's such high charge i don't see a tricolor anything working with him um yeah it's just not there anyway next move set um i could belabor that all day there's really no point double black red scoop power slam coming in pop up power bomb coming in and the frankensteiner uh, Brown is awesome um, as far as his explosiveness in the ring and stuff. He's going to be a star. I don't think it'll be too long and he'll be on the main roster. Uh, so Black Move, 7 and 8 MP respectively. Scoop Power Slam, deal 80k damage, make 9 random into red. Pop up Power Bomb, 47k damage, choose 4 gems to make into row breaks. And the Frankensteiner, deal 85k damage and choose 6 gems to make into uh, Black Gem, 7 MP red. Um, so you can start turn one in feud with one MP and a four trainer. So what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, red MP. We're going to use Sting for this one. You could use Butch. And then we're going to use Batista because uh, he gives one red MP. A lot of different ways you could go with dual MP trainers. However, uh, Batista is very common. <clears throat> and on top of it, um, he adds 50% more red damage, move damage to the Frankensteiner. So we get a little something extra, so why not? Um, and then uh, we're going to use Bianca um, because she makes an extra row break. Do keep in mind in Feud, uh, row breaks, you would be choosing seven without Bianca, so you really wouldn't need her in Feud uh, with the current tour or the current Feud perks, rather. Then we're going to leave Santa Hogan on for more gem damage, so uh, that's what we're going to do. So in Feud, uh, you essentially blow up the whole board with Braun, um, but. With, will that be enough? Well, I'll let you decide with the 50% gem damage buff what you're looking at um, for his tour perks. He's got a 50% gem damage, rather. So basically, what you want to do is we want to fill the black, uh, and we need five. So we need a five match, and then we want to set up a row break. Which I know what you're thinking. Merix, you're going to try and set up a row break? You're going to cascade for sure, probably. And a five match, one, two. That's like five, so I think we're good. And then let's get rid of these loot box gems because they don't do um, good damage. Hey, and I didn't cascade. Now we're going to choose our five row breaks. Two, three, four. And which row do we want? This one, or let's take this one. Here. Sure. Now, you have a choice to make. You could always hit this and make 11 random red gems into red. Um, 
I'm pretty sure we'll cascade if I do that. So not this time. We're just going to do this row break. And do... Looks about 700... 600,000 damage. Turn one. Uh, didn't recycle everything. That's the good news. Uh, now, what if the red move do doesn't get filled up, what I like to do is throw the randoms out first. Um, because then you can use the choose to kind of set up um, your your other gems and whatnot. But anyway, um, let's gamble. Why not? Let's gamble and see. Let's see what happens. We're going to cause a pin for sure. None of it is amazing, but the animation is great. So I love the animation. We're not going to do a ton of damage no matter what we do. Dexter is saying hi, but wow wow. Um, that did almost 600k, so almost as much as what we did before. So there is that. And you could throw the um, row break out and then hit that and hope some of the stuff connects too. Certainly a possibility. Um, you know. You can also do this kind of thing. We need seven, I think, for that move again. So let's just make a whole row. And then... Do I have enough? I don't have enough gems, so we'll do a swipe after the fact. Do, do, do. And sure. Why not? Oh, it's two anyway, so we're good. Make 11 random reds. Here we go. Why not? Let's gamble this time. I feel like. We're probably not going to cascade. And look at that. We even stayed out of our own way. I should have put this there, so I screwed that up anyway. Not that it particularly... Oh, got it anyway. Never mind. But you can see, still only 750k. Again, not that impressive. You're probably not going to use this either. Maybe? I don't know. Um, if you got Sika, use Sika. Orton's doing his thing. Oh, let's do this. Sure. Here, do. Why not? Now we'll just, like, do our choose all around it. Get a couple reds if we do the row break there. And then, um, let's change the green. Sure. And the blue. Why not? Apparently, I visually can't see anything. Uh, but, you know, we killed him. So, we got all the roll breaks off, and we and, and he's knocked out. Sorry. I didn't kill him. I knocked him out. Alright. Last move set. Uh, I think I like this one the most. I don't know. That's not necessarily saying a ton. But this is not my favorite freebie either. Although, Braum looks awesome, and the move animations look good. So, that part is good. Hi, Dexter. Are you saying hi to everyone? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he does the the funniest bow wow wow. All right. So we're just bringing the side belly to belly suplex in. 10 MP finisher. Deal 134k damage and swap a three by seven random area into black gems. Um, Entourage. We're actually going to leave almost the same. I'm just going to put Zombie Edge in for black gem damage. Uh, you could use Boogeyman. Um, 
Motu Austin, Bree for an extra uh, black gem damage. All <laughs> oh my gosh, Dexter. Come here, buddy. Come here. It's okay. Come here. All right. Um, so let's run this one. And this is why I have the skill plate on. Um, I know it seems weird, the Christmas tree skill plate, as I call it, the red and green aftershock. Um, because in Feud, you are going to need the aftershock, uh, potentially make it easier to get to the finisher. Um, so there's that. So we're going to choose eight gems to make into black gems. We're going to make a five match. And there's a green match up there on the board, um, which will fill our red mirror. So you either set up for a red swipe or you have the green swipe. So it just gives you another option. And then while we're at it, let's um, get rid of some of these loot box gems. Sure. So step one, obviously we're not going to use this move because it'll force a pin. Now we're going to take our swipe. And we have filled up our finisher. So Bob is our uncle. We are good to hit the finisher with a bunch of gem damage attached to it. But how much will it end up being? A million. That's with the 50% gem damage buff. But that's a million on turn one. Um... And now we have the random move left over to hopefully cycle us back. Let's see how that goes. Love that scoop slam animation, by the way. He has multiple good animations. Okay. So... We don't have quite as good a situation here. In the sense that... One, two... Uh, we're going to pin, um, so we might as well get our money's worth. That gives us the red cascade there, and then let's just pick up that. Let's do that. There. We got our money's worth. This is probably the moveset I like the most. I think this is the one I'll probably end up using, especially once perks are active. Um, but this is just going to be a guy I use for the month, and then he gets shelved unless there's brawn requirements. However, I do love all of his move animations. So that part's cool. Who knows, maybe they'll surprise us and give us gear for him or something. 975k. And there you go. So my thoughts on Braun, I mean, he's serviceable as a free card. He's not amazing. Uh, won't use him after the month. However, visually, he is looks very good. Move animation is snappy, and um, all of that is pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you find this video useful. And remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. And uh, Dexter says, good luck out there.